Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater Sound, and today we have Paul Whittington of PWM, all the way from the UK, just came back from NAMM, a successful right. NAMM, I heard, and you have a new keyboard. Tell me about this one. I do, so this is the PWM Mantis. Uh, this is a project that I embarked on with the late Chris Huggett. We've mm -hmm. honored him here with his signature on there. And he is a British synthesizer designer who is responsible for the Wasp and the Oscar from late 70s and 80s. I got to know him when I was working previous job for Novation, where we made the Mini Nova together, Circuit, Circuit Monostation, Base Station mm. 2, Peak, and finally there is the Summit. I left before that one, but that's also you know another mm -hmm. synth of his. What we've done here is we've taken um, two Wasp oscillators uh, from that start, made them duophonic on this, so you've got two analog signal paths. And then we've taken the filter from the Oscar, which is again a dual filter, and popped that in there. So it's kind of two Wasp plus an Oscar, kind of greatest hits of those synths, brought modern with USB and MIDI, so it'll sit in the studio, go on the road, and uh, you've got that kind of beautiful British classic sound brought up to date. And when you say duophonic, you're meaning legit. You're not talking paraphonic where it kind of does two notes. This is legit duophonic, has its own envelopes, its own filters, its own LFOs, its own analog path, like you said. But it can also be paraphonic, right? That's right. So we've brought this new concept of quad paraphony. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if that's the right word. It is now. But there we go. So two of the signal paths then split so that you can assign two different notes as you play to one of each of the oscillators on each path. So you end up with four notes playing the four oscillators, and that's quite good for playing chords and you know pads and uh, more rich sounds. And the cool thing about duophony, if someone's saying, well, what does it matter just having one more note? Mm. If I have two notes, I can imply chords, I can imply key signatures yeah. uh, that you can't with one note. When I, all Quite of a sudden right. I'm doing parallel notes, all of a sudden now I know what key I'm in. And, and so that's why I like a duophonic synth much more than a monophonic synth. Exactly, exactly. So I got to play with this a little bit, and I got to say there's an awful lot of synthesis power packed into a fairly uncomplicated front panel. I can get to everything. I'm not squished. I can read everything. Mm. Uh, and there are a lot of controller features as well. Sure, we really wanted to provide one-to-one -one control so that you could get straight to a parameter, turn it, and it's gonna happen. Um, we've kept the mod matrix fairly simple, so there's a lot of control on here. Mm -hmm. For example, aftertouch, um, the joystick, you've got X and you've got Y, you've got an expression pedal on the back. All of these things will appear in this matrix, and you can pick a parameter you want to control, you can pick a source if you wanna use the envelopes, the LFO, or just straight, mm -hmm. which is where you do to full on, and then you can then add a control to it. So you've kind of got this times this equals this, mm -hmm. if you're thinking mathematically. But it's really quick to assign that kind of stuff. And then you can just grab the filter, grab the mods, and um, just you know change the sound really simply. And if you want to see any modulation just quick, you just like, all right, how is oscillator two sheet being modulated? It's like, oh, envelope yep. one, as controlled by the joystick. There you Done. go. Done. Like, I can see it right away. Very handy thing. So now let's start playing this thing. Yeah. Um, you play and I'll tweak, then I'll play and you tweak. We'll go back and forth a bit. Okay. Okay, great. I'm going to start with a sound that illustrates how the filter works really well. The kind of two peaks moving in and out. I've assigned that to aftertouch on this patch. So, so here we go. Two filters, that's going to give you a very vocal, vowel-y yeah, kind of thing. That's yeah. Right. Okay, here we go. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you get that face on straight away, <laughs> kind of that. Whoa. Okay, let's try this. Okay. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, this is quite a cool sound. It's, it uses four tones, but let's try out the voice panning on this one. It's okay. really, really cool, so. So I noticed you have sine wave as a choice of oscillators. Sure. We get that request a lot here at Sweetwater. People yeah. want sine as a starting. Um, and that's especially useful like if you're doing ring modulation or stuff. But mm. I've also heard you've also got a drawbar mode that works with that sine wave. That's right. So we've built in some additive synthesis, which is actually calculated on the fly. Okay. So by turning the shape knob to the right, you get additional negative harmonics. And then to the left, you get additional Positive harmonics. Let's try so. that. I'll just put a three note chord and then just go ahead and add. So I see the last wave shape is WT. What's that? We've added an additional wavetable here. So it's to add more sonic possibility. It's kind of dig more digital grunge. -ness. Yes. There's like seven segments to it. You can sweep through them with shape, and then you can process that through the analog signal path. So of course that means all of the control sources could be sweeping that. Quite right. Cool, let me see that. could almost make a Fender Rhodes with that cheek <laughs> by filtering it just right. That's it. So I can hear it. You see where I've put that in there now, yeah. too. Yeah. So I'd like to show off the sub oscillator, if I may. Okay. So if you play. Okay. So we got like a little combo organ here. Yeah. So how about something weird? <laughs> okay, well, we'll try some ring mod effects, and uh, you know, you can go with the semitone oh. and the scent and see what see what happens. Okay. I'll do a bit of playing. Cool. And also showing off here the um, the joystick mode. With that on, you've got modulation and pitch bend, just like you'd expect. So, okay. Bit of fun. <laughs> is one really fat sound for something that's running off a battery. Completely USB bus power. 100%, so that's a battery, but you can bus power it off anything on USB. And your other synth does that as well, the that's Malevolent. Right. Yeah. yeah, so the other synth, that's the Malevolent, also has patching points for everything. A little smaller design, smaller mm -hmm. keys. Uh, both of these are great. Uh, if you have any further questions about either the Mantis or the Malevolent, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Also, we've got tons more videos like this at Sweetwater.com. My name is Daniel Fisher. This is Paul from PWM. Thank you very much for watching.